Welcome back to Chemist Go. Today we're going to take a look at the term mass, or the phrase mass defect. Okay. Uh, again, I'm just going to sort of very, very, uh, like a very simple explanation for this. Now, what scientists found out was they knew that atoms were made up of protons, okay, neutrons, and electrons. Again, that's got a negative charge right there. And so what they did was they took a look at, they were able to figure out what the masses of each one of these subatomic particles were. And what they did was they wanted to go ahead and compare. If they added the individual particles, okay, their masses, and then compared that to the actual mass of uh, an element, okay, one atom of an element. So if we take a look at helium, for example, and this is the isotope notation, and the stable isotope for helium is uh, 4 and 2. And again, this being the atomic number and this being the mass number, which is the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. And note that there's no charge, so that means it's got two electrons. So let's go ahead and just write this out. Protons, neutrons, and electrons. There's two protons for this one. To find the neutrons, you go 4 minus 2 gives you 2. Number of electrons, or since there's no charge, there's 2. So what scientists did was they knew what the individual masses of these different subatomic particles were. So what they did was they added all that. They added two, the masses of two protons together. They added the masses of two neutrons together and electrons together. And they found this, a certain mass, a certain number. They came up with it. And then they compared it to the actual mass of one atom of helium. Now, the interesting thing was this, that the masses of the subatomic particles by themselves, individually added together, was actually greater than the mass of the helium nucleus, or the helium atom, when it's actually bonded together. And that's known as the mass defect. Again, it's the mass okay, of all the subatomic particles particles, okay, individually is actually greater than the mass, okay, of the atom itself. And the difference in the mass was small, but they had to sort of come up with an explanation for it. And then what they figured out was that the mass was converted into some kind of energy. Energy. And that energy is the amount of energy that actually holds the nucleus together. The protons and the neutrons. Right, and that's a simple explanation for mass defect, and we'll take a look at the next lecture.